Hello, dear students. Let's start quick solution to All India Cash Test Series Medical 2020 for TYM batch and test 06 and code is CNT. Physics, the test held on 21st of the March 2021. Let's start with the questions. See, the first question says that if SHM is given by equation y is equal to sine of pi t plus cos of pi t in meter, then which of the following statement is correct? The amplitude we have to check and particles start in motion from the main position y is equal to 0 or the period of oscillation is 1 second. So let's start that the, your given equation is equal to y is equal to sine of pi t plus cos of pi t. Now dear student, we have to make it into sine of omega t plus pi form. So what we do? So let's search here. It is 1 here and sine of pi t and 1 here into cos of pi t. Now how to reach at that relation? So we divide and multiply by 1 square plus 1 square root. 1 square plus 1 square root. Where 1 is, this is 1 and this is 1. And the rest of the equation will remain as h pi t plus cos of pi t. Now what do you do? We take this as out. So that is equal to root 2 and what is in bracket sine of pi t into 1 by root 2 and cos of pi t into 1 by root 2. Now here we will use some identity. So I write y is equal to root 2 like sine of a and cos of b plus cos of a and sine of b. So what I'm doing, I'm taking cos of phi equal to 1 by root 2 and sine of phi is also equal to 1 by root 2. Just by comparison. And what do you get? The y is equal to root 2. This is sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. This is sine of a plus b. And you can find the value from here. Both from here, a is pi. This sorry, phi is coming to be how much? Pi by 4. So your equation become y is equal to root 2 sine of pi t plus pi by 4. And let's search what are the option. Its amplitude is root 2. The phase is, initial phase is pi by 4. And from here you can find the time pi is equal to 2 pi by t. So the, see the correct option. We have the 1 to search. The amplitude of oscillation is root 2 meter. So the correct option is option number 2. Let's go to the next problem. The next question says that vertical motion of a ship at C is a described by equation d square y over dt square is minus 4 y. Y is the vertical height of the ship in meter above its mean position. If it oscillates to the height of 1 meter, then the maximum vertical velocity and then maximum vertical acceleration and its minimum vertical acceleration. Now, dear student, at this is oscillating up and down and what is given that amplitude is given to be 1 meter. Now see if you take this equation as d square y over dt square the standard equation is minus omega square into y. So if I compare with the given equation that omega square is equal to 4 therefore omega is coming to be 2. Now what would the maximum velocity? Maximum velocity is omega into a that is equal to 2 into 1, so it should be 2 meter per second. And what would the maximum acceleration? Maximum acceleration is omega square into a. So 2 square into 1, that is equal to 4 meter per second square. Now see the option. Its maximum vertical velocity is 2 meter per second, which is the first option. So answer 1 is the correct answer. Now let's the third question. Which of the following will change its time period if taken to the moon from the earth. First is spring pendulum, second is torsion pendulum, third is a physical pendulum. Now you, dear student, you know that the physical pendulum has the time period relation, this one. One is taken to the moon, then gravity at moon and gravity at earth. Acceleration due to gravity are related this one. So this time period is affected. What were the spring pendulum? The time period does not depend upon the g 
and likewise also torsion pendulum. Torsion pendulum is like this and if given the rotation, it does not depend upon G. So your correct option is the physical pendulum. So answer to this question is 3. Now see the fourth question, the potential energy U of a particle is given by equation U is equal to 2.5 x square plus 20 in Joule. The mass of the particle is given. Then you have to search like the mean position of the particle executing as HM is x equal to 2. The time period of oscillation is 2.5 second. The angular frequency of oscillation is 5 radian per second. Or last is the time period of oscillation is this one. Now, dear student, you know that what is the internal force acting that is all is equal to. You have to take the, the derivative of potential energy with respect to this one. So, minus of this is partial derivative that is equal to 2.5 x square plus 20. So, if you take the derivative, this is minus 2.5 into 2 of x. So, what is the force acting on this one is minus 5 of x. Now see, the equilibrium is when x is equal to 0, force is coming 0. So equilibrium is x is 0. So the first option is wrong. The time period of oscillation you have to search. The angular frequency you have to search. And let's see, f is equal to minus k into x, then straight away the time period is equal to 2 pi root of m by k. Now mass oscillating is given to 0.2 kg and search the time t is equal to 2 pi and m by k so mass is 0.2 and k is equal to 5 on the other side what is omega omega is equal to k by m root now let's say k what is the k k was 5 and what was m 0.2 so 5 by 0.2 that means 5 into 10 by 2 so this is equal to 5 so your omega is coming 5 radian per second. Now see the options. There was an option that angular frequency is 5 radian per second is correct. Obviously, when you solve this, you wouldn't get 5 second. So answer to this question is third option. Now question number 5 is in simple harmonic motion, which one is incorrect statement? You have to find the wrong statement. The displacement and velocity may be in the same direction. Velocity and acceleration may be in the same direction. Displacement and acceleration can never be in the same direction and displacement and velocity can never be in the same direction. Now, if you take the SHM along straight line, you know that the relation for acceleration is that acceleration is minus x. So, obviously, A and x cannot be in the same direction. So, displacement and acceleration cannot be in the same direction is correct statement. Now, the velocity in acceleration, when particle is here and it's coming in this direction and acceleration is in this direction because x is positive. So velocity and acceleration has same direction. Yes, velocity and acceleration can have same direction. Now, displacement and velocity may be in the same direction. Displacement velocity, when particle is here and moving in this direction during SHM, that's also the true statement. And displacement of velocity can never be in C statement. So this is the wrong because this is correct. So here, Incorrect statement is 4. So answer to this question is 4. Mm -hmm.